Alright, this is Fekafon's review of level 4. Now someone may, might be noticing, wait a minute, I see level 5. You've already done level 4. Well, no! I'm not, I'm not gonna explain why. Dark. Man, this loading time is awful. Why is the beginning of the level long and the rest... Uh, I don't know. Printing engagements, Hamburg, 1000 hours. Well, that's a lot of hours. Here we go! Yeah, for some reason, Jenks Bond is checking if the walls are gonna attack him. So, I gotta admit, at first, I almost shot this guy in front of me, but then I noticed there was no cursor on him, so I guess I was not supposed to shoot him. So, as always, check your inventory and check your objective, because if you don't, well, it's, it's harder, honestly. So, you saw that I didn't have to shoot civilians, so I have to guess that these guys are civilians, and of course, these guys are bad guys. And if you notice, that makes two character models instead of just one. See, we're already we're progressing. It's it's getting better and better. Where it's not getting better is that most of the doors are always earthing locked. I mean, why do you put doors if they're locked? And throughout the levels, there's no way to open them. They're just there to piss you off. Honestly, it's locked. It's locked. And guess what? It's also locked. And this time I got shot. So now the. The, what I have to do in this level is I have to find a briefcase, I have to go in someone's uh, office and steal something. And of course I have to avoid killing civilians and then I have to escape the level. Pretty simple, right? So, electronically locked. So of course, this is probably one of the doors I have to open later on. Hey, wait a minute! That's an enemy and he's not the same character model as the other guy. That makes three character models! Holy snaps! Now that's progress right there. Not a lot of progress, mind you. So anyway, I run around trying to find, well, a way to open that electronic whatever thingy. So, uh... Oh, see that guy over there? I'm gonna snipe him with my pistol. Yoink! Oh, nasty! Oh, man! That was... Oh, God! Can you imagine being compressed by journals? Oh, man! That's not a nice way to go. Oh, man. Yeah, the aiming still sucks. I'm really terrible at this. Oh, squishy! Oh, man. Can you imagine dying like this? It's terrible. Ah, oh, there you go. See a phone. Now, if you notice, I had a fingerprint scan on the inventory, so I guess I... Nope, nothing. Well, I guess the guy who I need... <laughs> the, I guess the thing I need to scan didn't use this phone, right? So anyway, uh, you keep on going the level and uh, trying to find, uh, you know, whatever the hell you're supposed to do. You know, even if you have your objectives, you don't really know how to, com to uh, complete them, so it's still a bit hard. Now, did you notice the view distance is really crappy? I mean, I don't know why. I mean, the first levels were fine, but now I can't see like 50 feet in front of me. It's stupid. Uh, here's a guy. You're dead, mother... Well, I guess... What the... Oh, beautiful! Even though I can clearly see him, the like the truck is like blocking. Yes, <laughs> really well made, right? Anyway, I'm gonna skip a little bit ahead, and because uh, you don't want to see, there's nothing really interesting in that room. So this is the exit, but they say I need to examine the briefcase first. Now I thought I had to open the door, but I guess I'm just gonna look for the briefcase. And of course, there's still nothing in this room. No key card. No, well, no nothing. <sighs> this is level 3 all over again. I'm just. It's always like this. I'm running everywhere just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go, and people appear out of nowhere. So, what I believed to do was. I thought I was supposed to get a fingerprint of an employee. That wouldn't make sense, right? But no, it still doesn't work, so. Uh, kind of bummed, and I don't really know where to go. Yeah, can you. <laughs> I'm sure if you check the rotating print, you're gonna see like some bloody splatter of a human's remains. That's disgusting. Oh god, I still can't believe it. Uh, oh, the extra life! It's kind of, kind of a music for nothing, right? So anyway, I finally find, found the briefcase, and for some reason it's in the middle of nowhere on the ground. And it gave me an access card. See, that's probably how I opened the door. And then I thought, maybe the fingerprint is on the briefcase, right? Because people handle briefcase. Possibly an important guy. But no! Of course not! That's still not where I need to get the fingerprint. Now at this point I didn't care, because I had the key, so I 
just assume I had to go over there. But guess what? It's still locked, even though I have the key. That's just freaking bullshit. You know what? I just used a fingerprint on that door. Are you telling me that fingerprint I had was not a scan, but a fingerprint I already had? That's retarded! Oh god! Anyway, Gusta's office. This is where I need to go. Unlock door. No sh. Oh god. So this is where the key had to be used, and the other door was where the fingerprint had to be used. That's retarded. That's really, really stupid. But whatever, it's James Bond. You don't need to ask questions, you just need to do your mission, right? So anyway, I'm trying to figure out what to find, and of course, something is hidden behind this thing. However, the fingerprint's not working, opening the door is not working, shooting on it's not working, and I know for sure that I have no inventory that can help me open this. However, I thought a little bit, and you know those file cases that were oddly placed? Well, I just figured there would be the key behind this. But that was not exactly it. You actually had to push the push it so you could uh, open the... You know, imagine a guy enters to clean up the room and he just pushes that, pushes that thing to like clean under it, and then he finds this. You know, that's not a really smart way to hide your stuff, man. I'm gonna push a, a locker so I can open this case. Yeah, sure. Anyway, after you've done that retarded part of the level, you just have to escape. Wait, did I forget anything? No, right. Don't kill civilians and escape. And from here on now, there's nothing. There's no civilians, no enemies. See, when you know what to do in a level, they're really short and easy. But when you're like me, stupid, and you're stuck with the stupidest things to have to do, well, you know. Anyway, this is the end of the level. And for a Christmas bonus, I'm going to show you the cutscene that is after this level. If it starts playing, stupid loading. Come on. Hello. There you go. Roll. Oh. Quick. There's a. Uh, I don't know what the hell there is. What is he doing? You know, I have to admit, it's been a very long while since I saw the movie, so I don't remember Jack. So yeah, this is the end of my review of Level Four. Not really interesting, was it? I mean. Uh, I think it's, it's pretty much starting to look the same on every level. But anyway, stick around for level 5. And it's probably not going to be on Christmas Day. You know why? Because I'll be celebrating Christmas. See ya.